When oil prices hit a four-year high in early October at $86 per barrel of Brent crude, analysts made a range of speculations about where prices would go towards the end of 2018 and into 2019. Could we see $100 oil again? I'm Carla Certain, the editor of Oil & Gas Middle East. With me is Bader Munir Chaudhry, the head of the energy sector for Mashrik Bank. What are the key considerations for upstream stakeholders going forward? So from, from the oil uh, upstream players, the key, uh, of course, for them is to maintain their production capacity. And um, higher prices actually help uh, the revenue flows to come in for them to actually go ahead and invest in maintaining the uh, reserve uh, capacity that they have, as well as to expand on that uh, uh, reserve capacity. Uh, what is typically their consideration is to ensure that there is uh, no long-term uh, supply shortage um, so that there are no supply shocks uh, which can which can lead to volatility in the oil prices. Adnoc has announced a massive uh, capital outlay plan, uh, sort of supports the argument that uh, there is uh, enough um, sort of capacity that they would want to bring on on stream for for in, for ensuring that in the long run the supply uh, sort of. Uh, does not taper off. There's been a trend towards redeveloping aging assets that might be uh, another factor when it comes to supply. So uh, from the upstream segment, can we expect um, you know, increased production, increased effort to um, boost output? So uh, it, yeah, the oil prices do make a significant um, sort of reason for uh, the investment plan uh, or capex spending. Um, in the event that there is, uh, there are reserves which can be economically be um, recovered. Uh, the capex then uh, tends to go towards the recovery of existing fields. Um, the wider um, sort of strategy of uh, the capex spending entails the overall sovereign uh, sort of. Um, uh, aspirations as to what a government or um, uh, an IOC or NOC has in terms of its its, its uh, strategy. Um, so you will see that in in the last three years, a lot of um, capex was diverted towards uh, ensuring higher productivity of existing um, capacity. Uh, whereas now with, with the oil prices that we're having shown some resilience, uh, the, the spending is towards expanding production capacity. Thank you so much for joining us today, but I really appreciate having you on the show. Um, thank you for watching. You have been watching Spotlight with Oil & Gas Middle East. Uh, for the latest upstream news and analysis, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media, and sign up for our newsletter.